Taurus, how are you doing? Big, big hugs. Are we ready to jump into these readings? This is for Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing super fantabulous and everything is going super, super awesome. Is it your first time with me? Bienvenidos, congratulations. Thank you for coming over to the other side. How are you guys? And if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up, fam? So, the way these reads work, okay, first of all, you're gonna hit that like. It ain't that hard, baby, just hit it, baby. Hit me, baby, one more time, okay? Now, hit that like, that share, and subscribe, guys. And the way this is gonna work, we're gonna go into a general uh, love, we're gonna go into couples, we're gonna go into singles, and we're gonna go into money, okay? Any other uh, messages that I get, I'm gonna be sharing with you. Now, I just got these really cool cards in the mail called the Crystal Ball Card, so I'm gonna try to use Use those and I got these moonology cards to replace my old busted ones okay but I also got this deck that I got to learn today called herbal astrology and I can't wait to play with them if you follow me on Instagram I am offering a reading today at half price all right so let's if you hear noise it's just my kids all right now with this, we've already went through half the month, it feels like. Sorry, guys, I got a sinus infection and all kinds of stuff was going on after the fire signs. So, on the first, we had that Jupiter conjunct the North Node. The third, the full moon in Sag. On the fifth, Venus went into Leo, baby. And if you got anything in Leo, your rising, your moon, your sun, if you cross watching, your Venus, this is going to be a time of excellence, boo. You shine brighter than the morning star because it's Venus, baby. And this is like good luck and love and money and being recognized. Is this fame and fortune? I don't know. Now, on the 11th, it'll be there for five months, guys. On the 11th, Pluto enters retrograde, goes retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. Pluto, this planet of transformation, having been in the sign of Capricorn, significant to structures, rules, government, banking system, things that are in control of power, okay? Entities. And Pluto is coming in to transform and I say show everybody what's going on okay spread the truth <laughs> tell the wait is it tell the truth and shame the devil that's what's going on all right now we also have on that day mercury entering into gemini so a lot a lot of talking y'all if y'all already think i talk a lot don't be around me okay because i'm gonna be talking extra extra anyways on the 17th saturn retrograde seven degrees pisces saturn big daddy saturn the ruler of government the ruler of rules and organizations okay this is going into the sign of Pisces, the 12th house, which is secret stuff. You know, helping others, humanity, um, government agencies, hospitals, big pharma. Okay, I'm going to stop right there before I get blackballed again. Okay, because they stop playing my videos because I'd be predicting stuff that I'm not supposed to. Now, new moon in Gemini on the 18th, 26 degrees. Intentions, 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 okay? Let's spread it, all right? Positivity, bam, on that day, we're gonna set our intentions and light our candles. On the 21st, call up that cranky cancer, okay? Let them know, happy birthday, boo. Let me go buy you a drink, all right? On the 26th, Mercury enters into cancer. We gonna be talking about feelings, baby feelings and on the 30th neptune retrograde in the sign of pisces which is the ruler of pisces and this energy is coming in at 27 degrees i believe there's going to be a lot of need to like kind of look at the way we are using and abusing certain items in our lives and i'm just gonna leave it right there and i'm gonna, I'm gonna put that over there and we're gonna move on baby so what do we have here we have here the energy for you is the north node the north node is not a planet this is an energy okay it is the energy that is moving you to your future all right and it says you will be successful and you will benefit if you have faith and don't worry about the timeline okay because time is just irrelevant okay it ain't even real okay now, your crystal is Lapis Lazul. We are definitely working with our fifth chakra. We are speaking up for ourselves. This is about truth and attaining higher wisdom, working with our throat chakra and our anja. And it's great for releasing past angers and in 
injustices, okay, that hold us back from growth. Getting rid of negative thoughts, okay? This also helps us with dream and psychic work. Arr, let's do this, okay? Now, on a physical level, it's great for migraines, headaches, vertigo, your nervous system, your thyroid, okay? And it cleanses the organs. Now, on a spiritual level, this card indicates the need to exercise discrimination in all dealings. It gives you the power to seek the underlining truth of the matter and bring it to the lights. Okay, get the light going on over here. Now, your animal energy is no other than the boar. I didn't say the pig, baby. I said the boar. This boar got tusk, okay? You don't mess with a wild boar um, at all, all right? This is, this is danger right here. So facing your problems head on with the confidence and courage and the will to emerge victorious. This is getting grounded and rooted. Now, the thing with the boars, they dig, you know, they use a the little nose, their little snouts. I believe you are going to be able to smell victory. You're going to be able to know where you're going to be prosperous, where things are going to shine and good things are going to come in for you. All right. Now, your ancestors and your guides said, damn it to hell, go write that book, go write that song, do something creative, baby, because you got it. And there you are drawing yourself that big Taurus right there, big Taurus energy. Explore your creative side this month in the bedroom, too. I'm just saying, let's have a good time. This is PG-13, all right, PG-13. Now, they also want you to shape shift. Now, this isn't like you're going to, this is about alchemy, okay? Changing a situation where you once saw it in a negative light, let's flip it around and let's see where it benefits us, how it can help us, and transform and unveil your gifts. That's why they want you to tap into your creative side, okay? Enough about that. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about love. We are moving and grooving, okay? We are trying to get to the next level. Got my hair everywhere. And I feel like these are like maybe two friends trying to make sure you're on the right track because we don't even know what you're going to pull yet, baby. I'm just saying, are you on the right track? Can you see where you want to go? This is about success, similar to the Three of Wands energy. And it's time to work with your emotions. I'm Mariah Carey, man. You got me feeling emotions ah, deeper than I ever before. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. We're going to think of a yes or no question before we go into the general. I want you to hold it in your mind's eye, okay? In your mind's eye. We're going to be using if cats rule the world and yeah, the earth. Okay, let's see. I got three cards here. Come give me a kiss. I love you. Okay. Mm, I love you. Have fun. Text me. Okay? Let me know what's going on. Love you. Hold on. Okay, mind's eye question. You gotta say goodbye, guys. So with that, I want us to think about question number one. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I'm gonna say, this is a yes. Look at the way this Knight of Cups is like, girl, you know you want this. You know you want it. And it's a yes, baby. It is a yes for me. Um, Five of Pentacles. I don't know what you asked, but no. <laughs> That's going to be a no for me. Not at all. Okay. So let's put those cards up right there. We will be playing with these um, cards that I talked about earlier. They're so cute. They're going in your little pocket and they have like really cool stuff on there. I got them when Hay House had their like 50% off. As you know, I'm all about a deal. So let's go into a general reading for my beautiful lovebirds. Okay, what's going on for my lovebirds? Do we even want to use this deck? I should ask first because I'm not feeling it. No, we don't. Is it the animals? Girl, it's the animals, baby. Somebody said I'm feeling frisky today. Let me know my animal energy, okay? So we will be using Guardian of the Night Terror. Let's see. Ooh, first off, the Knight of Pentacles. Look at you being an ass. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, okay? The donkey is the beast of burdens, okay? And I feel like you have been carrying a lot of energy on your shoulders in past relationships, and now you're seeking out something new, okay? A new opportunity. We got a new attitude. You know, are you dealing with an E, okay? Temperance. We're going to take our time this time as we move forward. Sorry, I had a really rough workout this morning, and I think I'm starting to feel it. So with this temperance card coming in, I feel like if you're feeling froggy, boo-boo, jump for it, baby. Go for it. Take a chance, all right? Take a chance. Let's see what's coming through next. 
we have the Five of Cups. Now, with the 14 and the Five of Cups coming in, I do feel like there's something that happened possibly around the full moon, which was the third, and Temperance is Sag, and that is a full moon on the back of the card. So there was something that happened on the third, okay? Somewhere around there, give or take a couple of days. That leads to the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, if you see here, we still have two cups left, but a lot of times this is what happens. Like, we'll have, like, our career going good. Everything's good, but we're not in a relationship, or we don't have this, and we're more focused on what we don't have than all of the stuff we do. Okay, so focus on what you've got, baby. <laughs> you know, okay? Because there needs to be some celebrating, okay, with the Four of Wands. We have to develop something new, and that leads to the Four of Cups. So, you ain't looking too satisfying. Overall energy, we got the King of Cups. You know, I like the King of Cups energy. Because I always feel like King of Cups vibe is like this energy of someone who is like ready to make an offer. They're ready to get into their emotions and make an offer. I do feel like this is going to be a slow prog progression for you, Taurus. Like almost like you're fighting the feeling to move forward. You're fighting the energy to get to where you want to be, okay? For some reason, I pulled these out when it was time to do your read. So we're going to clarify with them. The Knight of Pentacles energy in the past, what does that mean for them? The Three of Pentacles, I feel like you've been working on something or maybe you've just been really working really hard. There's the Moon and the Seven of Pentacles. And so in this situation, it's like we're working really hard to feel something, reveal something, and get the truth, okay? So I feel like there was a truth revealed around the full moon, possibly tied to a king of wands. And it's nice days, okay? Nice days. Anyways, let's keep going, friends, okay? The temperance card is coming now. You're, you're looking at the past. Like, you're looking at it. You're reevaluating it. And you're like... I don't know, like these things came out of nowhere, these truths, these feelings, these emotions. And I have the King of Swords coming in, the Four of Cups again, and the Nine of Wands. Now it came out reversed in my hand, should it be reversed, and that's a yes. Okay, so in this situation when I'm looking at this Taurus, I do believe the number 444 is very important. I do think the fourth was very important and the third, okay? Now, I feel like the song that comes through my head when I see this, shot through the heart and you don't go, I don't know the parts, you give love a bad name. So we're left with the four of cups. We're like, damn, here I'm again in this shinity situation and what are they going after another cup and then they recite you know what it's not even worth fighting for right now like i'm not even going to fight for this situation because it's not giving me what i want okay libra said you know i've been fighting for you you don't want me to fight for you anymore i'm good there's that four with the house that's cancer energy king of hearts king of cups okay the journal, a secret about something in the house, okay, and leaving, okay, someone is going on a trip, it could be tied to a female, okay, but I have the king of cups that wants to reveal something, they want to tell you something about a trip, about moving forward, moving on, and it's this energy of like, how do we do this? How do we how do we get to the next level, right? What are we doing here? What are we what are we even doing anymore, okay? So we have the mending card. I think it came out reverse. Let's check. We don't need to fix this. Like, you know like when something keeps falling apart and like it's like your favorite shirt or like your favorite pants and keep same spot over and over and finally you, there's no more fixing it. That's this. There's no more making it right. There's something about the seventh, which is the day today that I'm filming this. There's something about the number 43, 34. 77. Oh my gosh, my back is really hurting, y'all. It's like, I don't hope I didn't hurt myself doing RDLs. 
why am I crazy? And I feel like I have to lift really, really a lot. I don't need to be like that. I need to learn to be Sagittarius like and have temperance. And I, I didn't have it today. Five of Cups, why are you here? We're sad because we know we can't fix this, okay? We know we can't fix this. Three of Wands, peg leg, coming through, baby. We know we need something better. And he's pointing at this castle. So there's something about a home situation. Seven of Cups. We don't know what to do. And here comes the Knight of Swords. Dun, 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 dun. I know what to do. And who's at the bottom of the deck? King of Cups again. So some of y'all could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Or dealing with a situation that's very close to your heart. Okay. Who is the Knight of Swords? Because he's coming through ready to cut. He ready to cut these birds out. He's like, look, I'm tired of hearing all this BS. Ka -ka 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 -ka. That's why. I, don't leave me alone with cards, y'all. I'll be making up stories over here, having a good time. Knight of Swords doesn't know what to do. He's got his blindfold on, but he's coming in guns a-blazing, okay? How does this Knight of Swords look? Damn, he got some nice thighs. Gemini energy, fit, athletic, and sexy. Okay, and I pulled it out just like this, so I'm going to go with it. Then we have the ring, okay? The ring is a round face. They are very beautiful, okay, or handsome, round and fair, Libra energy, and then we got my favorite, the owls, okay, and the owl energy is attributed to someone with a very pointy nose, kind of like mine, I like noses, and they have like a very sharp voice, small eyes, and it's attributed to Aquarius, so we got Gemini, Aquarius, and a Libra energy, yeah, okay, and they're bringing in a message, and it's coming quick. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh <laughs> I said that mm, let's see um, we have the 12th jumping out twice with the owls and the gender fluid so I feel like this is more or less something that has like the music is written on the wall or something like that of something that is over the acai bowl and they're like well you know can we talk about it there's something about a breakfast a brunch something of that nature they need you to fill their cup again and let's go to the new deck, okay? To the pockets. Crystal ball pocket. What should they do? Is this going to work? Unlikely. I feel like this is. It's not working. It's unlikely to move forward. This is a very interesting situation. I really like these cards, guys. They're my favorites. Okay, for today, because I change my favorites every day. Don't ever ask me, what's your favorite food? Because I'm like... Well, right now, it's this, but tomorrow, it might be this. I don't know. I have trouble with that stuff. So, I have the Three of Cups with the King of Cups. I do feel like the King of Cups has a message for you. At the end of this read, we're going to see what he wants to tell you. The Four of Wands is saying, look, in order for us to build a foundation, guy, my guy, we got to celebrate some things. So, I feel like there was someone in the past, there was an argument about a home, things didn't work, a new guy's coming in or a new person is coming in. We got to celebrate this home. We got to celebrate what's going on. But you're like in a state of like not wanting to celebrate. Because you're afraid that all that glitters is in gold. And guess what? It what? It's not. And I feel like someone is trying to pressure you. And they want you to take an offer, but damn it to hell, you don't want to take it. You're not going to take it, okay? You're like going to curl up like a little armadillo, an armadillo, and get in your little safe space and say, no, sir, re, I'm going to go work on something new. I'm going to get the coins that I want for this home, for this house, okay? And then she look like she's looking at the contract or something like, read the fine print, King of Cups. Mm-hmm. She said we ain't doing with it. And we got the Five of Cups because you're showing somebody, hey, I, this is not what it said. This is not how we're doing it. And I want my Four of Wands. I want my stability. I want my home. And I'm not going to play games with you. Okay, it's that simple. I'm going to pull a Norman. There were so many King of Cups. What is the message of this King of... Let's get, what is his message? He's a cold-hearted snake. Cancer energy. Curvy. Fit. 
okay? A little sexy. They use their sex appeal to get their way, okay? The sun, Leo energy, light, fair-skinned, light brown hair, blonde hair. Person has porcelain skin, probably. Very youthful. You know, very beautiful, like, oh, Leo's. I'm just kidding. Leo energy, but they snake, okay? And then we have the letter, and the letter comes in. I believe that you'll be receiving communication about something about a home, something about your four, where you lay your head down from a cold-hearted snake. The letter is attributed to someone who's kind of slim, a little skinny, and Gemini, okay? So I feel Libra, a Libra, Taurus. You are dealing with an energy of someone who wants to come in and change something. And they're trying to sell you a dream. Trying to sell you something big. And it doesn't have to do with a home. It could do with like the stability of a relationship. The way you guys feel about something. Okay? And in this situation, you're not liking what you're being offered. You're not liking what you're being offered, and so you're moving forward, and you're going to make a decision to make that happen. So, with that, <coughs> let's move on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still recovering. I'm on the recovery list. Okay, recovery list of getting better. Let's move forward to our beautiful, is it going to be couples? Nope. It's going to be the singles. Where are my single Taurus at? Okay. Single Taurus at. Where are you at, boo? I need to know. So far, lucky days or days to look out for was the 3rd, the 4th, the 7th, and the 12th. Let's keep it rolling. Okay. What we got here. What's in it for them? We got the Eight of Pentacles. We're learning skills. We're manifesting. We're creating what we want. We want something that's going to grow. We want Matt Damon. I always call this guy Matt Damon. Anyways, we want something that's going to grow and develop. We're putting our money into a situation, our time, and our energy because we want a happy family. I kind of feel, Taurus, the way that you're looking at this situation is like, how can I make this flourish? What do I need to do? How can I protect myself as I'm moving forward? Because these things are important to me. But I'm going to keep my heart open. I want to be open. Some of y'all have children. You're like, I got to protect my kids. Like, I don't want them to go through this drama. I don't want them to see what's happening, right? But you, the key is you need to go out, boo. You got to get your ass out. and You got to go find some friends, meet new people, and enjoy your life. We cannot live... <clears throat> We can live hermitized, okay? We can. But in this situation, what I'm kind of feeling here is the Eight of Pentacles is you were working really hard on something <clears throat> and it didn't give you the outcome you wanted, Seven of Pentacles. This could be a past relationship. So now you're like, look, I want this Ten of Cups, but you're afraid to put yourself out there. Some of y'all might want to consider online dating tourists. It ain't as bad as people say it is, okay? Some people just talk really negative about it. I meet really cool people. Doesn't mean I stick around, but I meet really cool people and have a really fun time, okay? And I don't get to go out much because I work like three jobs. I'm Jamaican at heart, or however they say it. I'm a Mexican at heart, right? I really am Mexican. So I work like three jobs. One online for my business, this, uh, another one online for a school, and then I work at part-time at another, at a college. So it's like I'm always working and I have two kids. So I'm going to have time, you know, like how am I going to meet you? Because I'm working. I got to make my coins. So the wheel is saying whatever you were manifesting, whatever you were creating, is starting to move in the right direction. It's like fate is moving you on from a situation. Seven of Pentacles comes through for you, boo, and you got to have strong, strong strength. You have to be strong. And there's that bore again. There's that boar energy, and I really feel like what the boar is about being tenacious, being focused, and facing your fears head on, okay? And you're overcoming that fear of like, what if it doesn't grow into what I want it to be? The seven of cups here, so I have three seven, 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 seven. The 21st, okay, is going to be important. And I want you to pay attention to the number seven, seven, seven. Um, which is interesting because you had 4334 earlier. So there is something with the power of seven. I feel like you are really trying to, some of y'all are keeping a relationship secret or you're afraid of introducing someone to your family, okay? Ten of cups with the ten of cups. You're like, I don't know if I can do this. 
okay? But I want to, ten of wands. So it's a very difficult decision for you to make this, okay? A lot of Pisces energy coming in with that. Now, the seven of wands is coming through. You're protecting yourself from a situation of moving on. Some of y'all are afraid to move forward with the six of swords, but you want that loving feeling to come back with the knight of wands. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign or a Pisces. The star comes out, and here you are as the queen of pentacles. You got someone who really likes your feet. They're a feet person, or that's you. High priestess again. And I have the nine of pentacles. It came out reversed. I'm going to leave it like that. So I kind of feel like somebody's not going to be single for long. Okay, somebody's gonna meet somebody. Okay, somebody's gonna get a little fun in their pocket. Okay, because the three of cups, you go out and you're swinging and having a good time. <laughs> Four of wands, let me keep it PG. Let me keep it PG before I get in trouble. I feel like you're gonna go out and you're gonna F around and find out what's out there and you're gonna enjoy yourself and you're gonna have a good time. And I think that you're gonna enjoy yourself so much. Um, that it's going to be amazing, okay? So, in this situation that you go out and you're having a good time and it's a lot of fun, I kind of feel like you might be moving forward with someone who there's a little bit of a significant age difference because I saw the 3443. Um, there's a lot of talk about like really protecting your family. So why do why does let's go to the oracle over here? Why do they feel that they have to be strong? Because there's communication coming in from a family member or from a distance. Message in the bottle usually pertains to someone in the family because of the pelican, okay? But this could be like, check your emails, check, you know, your information, check what's going on around the 15th, okay? And be in the moment. Be here now. Let's try not to be like, oh my God. If it's not 100% all the way in, I don't want it. No, we're just going to be in the moment. We're going to enjoy. We're going to have a good time, okay? And then we have here, how are we going to have um, a good time with a ton of, double ten of cups? Somebody might also be having financial issues, okay? So I have the star here, the fidget spinner with the number 32, and I have the star over here. And that's Aquarius energy. But this is also about a lot of healing, okay? I'm telling you, sexual healing, maybe. We're getting on that. We're getting the stars at night are big and bright. Ka, ka, ka. He looks like big Tex. Maybe in the heart of Texas. I don't know why I get this vibe. But this individual, you're going to meet them online. Or they just like to talk. Maybe they're a talker like me, okay? Maybe they're a sweet talker. But this person makes you, they, they think you hung the stars and the moon. They're just like, you are my everything. And you're just like, oh my gosh, get off of my feet. Because this person is, they got someone with feet, okay? Because I see feet here, I see feet here. And, and this individual is really feeling you. I think they're feeling you. Let's see this Knight of Wands. What do they look like? Mm -hmm. What do they look like? I want to know. I want to know. Let's see. The mountains. So they got muscles, baby. They're strong, okay? I'm telling you, they like to get the friction on. They're coming in with a message. I feel like you blocked this individual, and they're just like, damn it, I'm coming through. I don't know if I have to leave a letter on your door or what, but I'm coming in, and I'm going to get me some, okay? They're not playing with you anymore. So the mountain is attributed to maybe a bigger head, graying hair, Aries energy, and then we have the rider, athletic, built, strong legs, Gemini energy with square shoulders well built and sturdy cancer okay they have brick house all right they look good and they mighty mighty and they letting it all hang out if you know what I mean and they're ready to to move forward now in this energy you're you're trying to figure out what am I gonna do what is this about you know there's a lot about um, pleasing each other, okay? Planting seeds, and we're going to leave it there. There's something about music, okay? 
and healing that broken heart. So this might not be Mr. Forever or Miss Forever, but they're coming in when something has ended for you. And they're moving forward and they want to connect with you, okay? So that's a pretty cool read. I think that's interesting. We're going to look at... We're going to look at, okay, who is coming in for you, all right, how you can meet them. <laughs> I just like to have fun, y'all. When you call me for a reading, it's like an adventure. Like, you don't ever know what you're going to find. You might find Ari with her hair brushed or Ari looking kind of busted talking about, hold on, I need to take a shot because my throat hurts. You just never know, okay? You just never know because sometimes I catch colds, y'all. <laughs> Here we go, boo. Let's see. What are they going to be looking for? We already got the one description of one, but you know, maybe that didn't fit you. Maybe you're like, I don't want that. I want something else. Tell me who's got their eye on Taurus. Yeah. Who's coming forward? I'm telling you, Gemini likes you some, baby. They got some thick, thick thighs. They're athletic. They're fit. Damn it to hell. Maybe they like to ride horses. I don't know. But I got female energy. Very feminine energy. Could be another Taurus. That's tied to the sign of Taurus. And social. Okay, this is signed to the, the garden. This person dresses good, smells good, fit. Taurus, they, they, they make you feel like, dang, they're on your level. Like they dress nice, smell nice, look nice. They look the part. You're feeling them. That is Aquarius energy. So we have Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, look at Big Daddy Long Legs. And this is somebody new because we got the stork coming in. I always know, like, the stork, like, it's not the description they give him, but I always feel like when I see the stork, I feel like special delivery. Like, they might have a nice package. Okay, yeah, okay. Let me stop. They have nice legs. Definitely have some nice legs. Maybe they're long or they're really, really fit. I want to say, I always think of birds with nice chestuses okay however long legs tall slender and gemini baby i think gemini got their eye on you taurus i think they like you how can they meet this individual there's one about going to a party an outdoor party um online dating could work also I almost said the everglades stop me y'all stop me I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, musical. That's the same time. That's that card keeps following you. Okay, it might be a sticky situation. I told you they have a nice package. Okay, and I kind of feel like with this energy right here, with the jacket, there's something about the way they dress because it fell right on the garden and the skeleton in the closet what else interesting hair so i feel like you have a chance of meeting them you guys are going to talk about music other things they might give you their jacket to like warm you up or take it off i don't know because it's scorpio i feel like there might be a lot of taking off and i see a lot of physical attraction okay let's have some fun is it the person on taurus's mind i'm pulling card one in card two, I just want to have fun with these damn cards, okay? Card number one, is it the person on Gemini's mind? I mean, Gemini's mind, Taurus's mind. Yes! Oh, yes, it is. Okay, um, card number two, is it the person on Taurus's mind? Yes! The time is right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is some pretty cool cards. Okay, that was fun. Let me stop. It's time to move on to these couples because, you know, enough with you guys. Enough with you guys. Couples. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see. What do we... I'm going to go with this deck. What do the couples need to know? Okay. The lovers fell out. Okay. Charles got the lovers. What's going on? We got to make a decision. I kind of feel like we're making a decision. I cut something out. Two of cups. Okay. Uh, the Fool it came out reversed, but I'm going to leave it upright, okay? And then the Empress, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and we're moving a little slow. Okay, Taurus, we got some decision-making to do. Someone might be expecting a baby, too. All right, so the Lovers is coming out. We have we made the right decision, but now we're afraid. we got the number 22 coming in. Then we have to go like to this, like, okay, i got to start new and fresh to create this. And some of y'all are creating a baby, so congratulations on going half on a baby. What does the lovers want us to know? And I want you to pay attention that the snake is biting them there, okay? 
the star is coming out. We have to heal from a situation in the past where maybe we were hurt by this individual and they don't want to talk about it with us. They don't want to be in that energy with us. And then we have the two of swords and the two of swords is saying the queen of pentacles. You are the one who has to make this decision. Trusting the high priestess. I promise y'all I shuffled. And then I have the hangman. He's coming out reverse. I kind of feel like there's a 2-2-2 two, two, two coming in. Someone was... Um, Cheated out of a situation, and it doesn't mean cheated on. Maybe they didn't give you full disclosure. Maybe you didn't give it to them. And you are using your intuition to free yourself from this. And you're choosing the Two of Cups here. Two of Cups is we're going to talk about it if we're going to be in love. If we're not going to talk about it, then damn it to hell, get the heck out of here, okay? And I'm going to go be happy with who I'm with. I feel someone from the past is going to be coming back, Boo Bear, okay? There's two pages, so there's a special delivery, if you know what I mean, okay? Someone wants to come back. Hmm. And I think that's a tough decision for you because this is somebody who you might have had like a very strong connection with. The Fool with the Seven of Cups. Make sure that this person that you're with, that you choose, is the person you want to continue with, okay? Because, you know, the Emperor's looking at the situation like, I'm done. Because, look, somebody going to hit it and quit it. There's somebody who wants to come back. They're painting this picture, Taurus, like, oh, baby, I love you. I want to make babies with you. I want to live with you. We're going we're gonna to have a great time together. And then all of a sudden... They're out. And I believe this person just wants to come and mess with your relationship. Bom, bom, bom. Why? Look, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. And for some, it's just family stuff going on. And then I have the Queen of Swords over here. So I feel like, Taurus, when you make your decision about how you want to move forward in your relationship, it is nobody's business but your own. Okay? Who is this person from the blast? Who is the blast from the past? Give us clues. Huh. They're older than you with the lilies. There was a lot of sex involved. They have um, they have a very interesting nose, uh, beady little eyes, cute little like, like teddy bear eyes, okay? That's attributed to the sign of, what was the birds again? The birds were Aquarius, okay? The flowers are, the lilies are Virgo energy, okay? And then we have here the child, Leo energy, okay? And this person is young, petite, small, tiny, wants to come through and show you a good time, innocent. So they say, okay? So they say the 13th could be very important for you. I feel like in this situation, you have to make a tough decision. You might even have children with this previous person. <coughs> and they want to talk. Let's see. Don't leave what you got for something that ain't worth it. Okay? Don't leave what you got for something that's not worth it. Because this is a situation where you can you can get into a little bit of some shenanigans. So this Eight of Swords is very interesting because you see the devil in the back. He's like, I got what I wanted. And there's the Empress. F around and find out there might be an unwanted pregnancy if you do that, okay? And I don't mean unwanted because you didn't want to get, you know, like you don't want a baby. But it's like you didn't want to have it with them, you know? Let's see here. Watch your drinking. <laughs> is this dried up? And trust your intuition as you move forward because this person is definitely notifying you. Let's have some fun like we did with the singles. Is this person worth their time? Choose another direction. They're not. They're not worth your time. They're not for you. Focus on moving and growing this slow moving situation to something that can develop and be more. If you have children with this person, they're going to use them to kind of swindle their way back into your life. The 15th could be, I already wrote it, the 15th could be very important for you. I kind of want to say, like, just proceed with caution. Don't let anything get in the way. Do what you got to do to be happy, okay? So, with that being said, let's jump into your oracle, okay? Your oracle read. What does my beautiful Taurus, Tauro, que necesita saber el Tauro? Tauro, Tauro, Tauro. 
Victory is yours, okay? Because you're healing, you're moving forward, trusting your 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 gut, you're touching your solar plexus. Also, a lot of yellow might be important for you this month to have confidence to move forward. There's also something about you watching what you eat and taking good care of your solar plexus, okay? Victory in getting untangled, getting out of the entanglement. And we're healing from the hostile any style, but we're healing from that rough communication. We don't want it. And the third chakra said, walk away. Take that how you want to take it because there's definitely something brewing in the background. Okay? So, F around, find out. Okay? That's not a, not a good thing. So, let's do the signs. Let's do the signs. Let's see which deck do we want to use. <clears throat> Let's go to the stack. So, this is going to be the side of... First card I draw is going to be you, and then it's going to be them. Okay, because I get all mixed up. So, let's see here. We're going to start off with... Why don't you want to say Leo? Taurus and Aries. So, Taurus's energy is the qu Queen of Pentacles. Talk about it. Be about it. Put some money on it, baby. Let's, let's also trust your dreams, Taurus. What about Aries? Aries is praying. They're praying to their spirit guides. They want to know. They're like, can I trust? Can I trust Taurus? And there's this vibe of, I want to say soulmate vibe between you guys, okay? Let's look at Taurus and Taurus. So Taurus, one Taurus is praying and the other Taurus is trying to control the situation. What is the one Taurus needing confirmation about? What are they afraid of? Something's crazy is happening. Like there's something brewing and the other person is probably brewing it. Okay. How you like your tea? Taurus hot or piping hot? All right. Taurus is making a decision about a Gemini who feels like it's completely over. Gemini also feels like you're their soulmate. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Taurus is wanting to talk and Cancer is trying to deal with situations that they're finding the courage to speak up. Now, what's interesting in this, in this um, little combination is this guy right here, what is his name? Era is actually the lover of Arishkagal, and he became the lord of the underworld by being with her. So I feel like this is something that could really work out, you know, if you could just face face things. And then, so there's Arishkagal right there. So I feel like there has to be a transformation in the way you guys communicate. Um, Taurus, the king of swords with Leo... We have a new beginning. We might even be talking about having babies, okay? But we're talking. We're definitely talking. And then we have Taurus with the wheel and Virgo with the Ace of Cups. We're moving on to that loving feeling. Taurus is trying to offer something to a Libra, and Libra is not for it. Libra is focused on finances or the mean words you said to them in the past, okay? Like, I feel like you're going to offer an apology, and Libra's going to be like, thanks, and leave, okay? Then we have Taurus is um, the energy of being hung up on something. And then after Libra, we have Scorpio, Sag, let me write it, Cap. A queer and Pisces. Okay. And they're like, come on with it. You know, you need to talk about it, be about it. This might even include some travel between you guys. There might be an age difference too. Now, where do we leave off? So we got Taurus with the Eight of Wands, icky sticky, you know, love you long time, with Sag, and they're running from their feelings. <laughs> Y'all are both eights. Like, one is like, it was good. And the other one's like, yeah, I don't want none of these feelings. I think Sag feels a little bit more for you and they're denying it. Okay, but anyways, it's just my opinion. Taurus is praying and Capricorn is coming. Okay, they're coming towards you. They want to travel towards you. What does Taurus want them to know? I think Capricorn is uh, always, you're always on their mind. Okay, that's weird. And yeah, they're traveling. They're going to talk about a trip. You guys are going somewhere. Mm. Taurus. 
Taurus is in love with Aquarius and Aquarius is in their head as usual. As soon as you fall in love with them, they're like, let me run. Okay, Taurus offering his cup of love. He just wants to have a good time. And Pisces can see all the red flags or you see that in them. All right, so that's what I have for the signs. Let's jump into our money sector. So this is about you really finding your power, owning your power and trusting your mind, body and soul to move forward in a situation of finances. So let's see here. I believe that you're owning it. You're coming in your power. You're being creative again. Remember? So then we have here the Queen of Wands in the past. Very creative energy, developing, running the, running the show, trusting your intuition with the cat. Going right into the Knight of Wands. Is this a family tradition, a family business? We're making a risky decision here, but we're going to focus on ourselves. I believe that if there was a family business or a family communication, somebody has taken it on to themselves. I have the Four of Wands reversed coming out. So I feel like there was like almost like a breakdown in communication. It was supposed to be better and it's not. And so we're moving on from a situation. And you're starting fresh financially. So I really see a financial fresh start coming in for you. I feel like you have to focus more on your personal finances. There's not going to be a lot of helping other people out. Some of y'all maybe aren't going to get like the house that you want or something's going to be canceled with that four of wands. Yeah, and we're going to leave that situation. The eight of wands, six of wands, they're all leaving the situation and you're going to take a new offer. So let's look at that. What is going on financially with the four of wands? Is this what? What is this about what is this about it's a burden um, a lot of gossip is tied around it and you're cutting it out so whether this was the end of a marriage the end of a home buying situation you're done talking about it and you're out how does this leave them financially at a tough decision with the crossroads this brings you anxiety and you feel like you're blocked. So I'm going to say financially, there's something about family, okay? There's something about family. And it's a little bit of an injustice to you. You're not, you're not here for it. Okay, and I have the King of Pentacles in between you and the Queen and the Knight with a decision. So this could be a court case. This could be a financial decision. This could be something about, hey, we used to have property together because I have the house looking at me. And... What's going on, you know? Overall, what do they, let's do Oracle. What do they need to know for finances? What do they need to know in their finances? I'm going to say, do not make hasty decisions. So we have the fifth chakra. We're going to be speaking up about something you've been thinking about. Okay, you've been thinking about this and you got to see it for what it is. You got to see it for what it is, friend. It's going to break your heart because you can't believe that this person betrayed you this way. All right. But you're going to have strength to stick up for yourself and speak your truth. And you're going to find better offers and better things out in the world. And you're going to learn to appreciate the journey. And you're going to see who's really there for you. The 15th is going to be very important for you. So that's what I have for you, my beautiful love bugs. I hope you have a great month. Remember, go follow me on Instagram. Let's book a reading and let's be friends. Take care.